hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel today i came up with the second video of diagram of function so we know diagram of function the definition of diagram of function diagram of x is equal to derivative of natural log gamma function natural log gamma function and uh, in previous video we proved uh, gamma dash of x is equal to gamma of x times di gamma of x then uh, another relation di gamma of x plus 1 is equal to di gamma of x plus 1 over x then uh, the series representation of di gamma function di gamma of uh, c plus 1 is equal to minus gamma plus infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity uh, here 1 over n minus 1 over n plus c uh, in first video uh, we proved uh, these identities so in this video uh, we are going to prove duplication formula of digamma function then reflection formula of digamma function then uh, some values of uh, digamma function then relation between digamma function and harmonic number okay first uh, we are going to prove the duplication formula of digamma function so this is the uh, duplication formula of gamma function uh, in previous video we also prove this identity if you like i will add the link in the description and also make a card uh, so this is equal to 2 raised to the 2 m minus 1 times gamma of m times gamma of m plus 1 half over square root of pi okay then i am going to take uh, natural log both side so here we have natural log of gamma of 2 times m is equal to here uh, natural log of 2 raised to the 2 m minus 1 times gamma of m times gamma of m plus 1 half uh, then here uh, division so if we take natural log we know here minus natural log of the square root of pi okay then uh, we can simplify a little bit uh, here natural log gamma of 2 times m is equal to now according to property of natural log uh, we can write here 2m minus 1 times natural log of 2 plus natural log of gamma of m uh, plus natural log of gamma of m plus 1 half minus here we know uh, square root of pi mean uh, phi raised to the one half so one half times natural log of pi okay then i am going to differentiate with respect to m uh, so here we know derivative of natural log gamma function uh, is defined as uh, di gamma function and here we have two times m so uh, we should uh, multiply by the coefficient of the variable so two times di gamma of two times m is equal to now if we differentiate this part uh, we know we have 2 times natural log of 2 and here uh, derivative of natural log of gamma function we know di gamma so di gamma of m then uh, here um, again plus di gamma of m plus 1 half then we know uh, if we differentiate this is a, a constant uh, so we have uh, 2 times di gamma of 2m is equal to 2 times ln 2 di gamma of n plus di gamma of m plus 1 half now we can isolate the di gamma of m plus 1 half so di gamma of m plus 1 half is equal to 2 times di gamma of 2 times m minus di gamma of m minus 2 times natural log of 2 ok this is the uh, duplication formula of 
digamma function okay then uh, if we apply uh, here uh, 1 for m so here we have digamma of 3 over 2 digamma of 3 over 2 is equal to 2 times digamma of 2 minus digamma of 1 minus 2 times natural log of 2 so if we know digamma of 2 and digamma of 1 uh, we can find the value of digamma of 3 over 2 okay uh, we can uh, do it uh, later okay then uh, we are going to prove the reflection formula of uh, digamma function uh, this is the uh, formula of uh, digamma function um, reflection formula uh, digamma of 1 minus n minus digamma of n is equal to uh, pi times cotangent pi n uh, as i remember uh, we used uh, this formula to solve many integrals okay now uh, how to prove this well uh, we can uh, start with uh, the Euler's reflection formula so we know Euler's reflection formula uh, gamma of n times gamma of 1 minus n is equal to uh, pi over sine of pi n uh, and also we can write uh, 1 over sine of phi n as uh, phi times cosecant pi times n now uh, i'm going to take uh, natural log both side uh, so here we have natural log gamma of n plus natural log gamma of 1 minus n is equal to here natural log of pi plus natural log of cosecant of phi n now i am going to differentiate with respect to n so here derivative of natural log gamma function we know the definition of digamma function so here we have digamma of n and here we know again digamma of 1 minus n but here we have minus sign so uh, we should multiply by minus sign so minus digamma of 1 minus n is equal to we know natural log of phi is a constant uh, so here natural log of cosecant phi n so we know the derivative uh, 1 over cosecant pi n uh, then derivative of uh, cosecant function we know minus cosecant of pi n times cotangent of phi n then according to chain rule so we know here we should multiply by pi okay then we know cosecant pi n get cancelled so here we have uh, minus pi times cotangent phi n so we can multiply by minus sign both side so we have digamma of 1 minus n minus digamma of n is equal to pi times cotangent of pi n okay this is the uh, reflection formula of digamma function then i am going to find the uh, value of uh, digamma of 1 so uh, we know uh, gamma dash of c is equal to uh, digamma of c times gamma of c now uh, if we plug in 1 here we have gamma dash of 1 is equal to digamma of 1 times gamma of 1 and gamma of 1 we know 1 uh, so we have uh, digamma of 1 is equal to gamma dash of 1 so how to find the uh, gamma dash of 1 okay uh, we know the definition of gamma function gamma of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x times x to the c minus 1 times dx now i am going to differentiate with respect to c so gamma dash of c is equal to 0 to infinity uh, e to the minus x x to the c minus 1 times natural log of x dx then i am going to plug in 1 uh, for c so here gamma dash of 1 is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x uh, times 
natural log of x dx as i remember uh, we saw this integral in previous video uh, so we know this is equal to minus gamma gamma we know here Euler's mascheroni constant so gamma dash of 1 is equal to minus gamma so gamma dash of 1 is equal to minus gamma therefore uh, we know tau gamma of 1 is equal to minus gamma well uh, then i am going to find the value of uh, tau gamma of 2 uh, to find the value of tau gamma of 2 i am going to use the uh, series representation of tau gamma function so we know tau gamma of x plus 1 is equal to minus gamma plus infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus x now uh, when x is equal to 1 we know here di gamma of 2 is equal to minus gamma uh, plus here we have infinite sum 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 now we know this is uh, Tereskovian series uh, so uh, we know this is equal to 1 so we have minus gamma plus 1 so di gamma of 2 is equal to minus gamma plus 1 okay then uh, we are going to find the uh, di gamma of 3 the value of di gamma of 3 uh, to evaluate di gamma of 3 uh, we can use also the series representation of di gamma function so when x is equal to 2 uh, we know uh, 2 plus 1 3 uh, so di gamma of 3 is equal to minus gamma plus n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 2 so here minus gamma plus now this is also uh, we know telescope in series so here this is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 so we have minus gamma plus 3 over 2 so this is the uh, value of uh, di gamma of 3 di gamma of 3 okay then uh, when x is equal to 3 uh, when x is equal to 3 uh, di gamma of 4 is equal to uh, we know minus gamma plus infinite series n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 3 and uh, we know this is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 so uh, we know this is equal to minus gamma plus 11 over 6 okay then uh, when x is equal to c when x is equal to c we have di gamma of c plus 1 is equal to uh, we know according to this pattern minus gamma plus 1 plus 1 half plus 1 over 3 plus plus 1 over c so we know uh, this is equal to uh, c is harmonic number so di gamma of c plus 1 is equal to minus gamma plus harmonic number of c c harmonic number ok mm, this is another uh, important result ok then uh, mm, we need to find the di gamma of 3 over 2 so now uh, we have di gamma of 2 so we know here 2 times di gamma of 2 uh, we found uh, di gamma of 2 minus gamma plus 1 minus gamma plus 1 so here minus gamma plus 1 then uh, di gamma of 1 di gamma of 1 uh, we know di gamma of 1 is equal to minus gamma so here we have minus minus plus gamma uh, minus 2 times natural log of 2 so if we simplify here uh, 2 
then minus 2 times gamma plus gamma so minus gamma minus 2 times natural log of 2 so this is the value of uh, di gamma of 3 over 2 okay now uh, yeah uh, this is the uh, relation of di gamma function and uh, harmonic number so for example if we take uh, di gamma of 8 di gamma of 8 is equal to minus gamma plus uh, here mm, now we know uh, c is equal 7 so seventh harmonic number i think uh, you can uh, find it okay thank you for watching